Welcome to your health and safety induction for workshops and manufacturing sites. The type of work that we undertake means that thinking about your own health and safety and the health and safety of others must be a priority whilst you're visiting or working on our site. As a new employee, contractor or visitor to our site, we want to provide you with an overview of the main health and safety arrangements that are in place to ensure that you can carry out your work or visit without coming to harm. We all have a role to play in looking after both ourselves and other site users whilst in the workplace environment. Let's take a look at some of the common activities and health and safety risks that you need to be aware of when visiting our premises. Upon entering or accessing the site by vehicle or car, it should be noted that reverse parking is strongly encouraged. This is to reduce the risk of collisions with other vehicles, plant and of course, pedestrians. Please be aware, heavy plant operates regularly in the production area, including forklifts, work vans, mobile plant and heavy goods vehicles. It's important that you stay aware of this traffic at all times. Ensure to communicate with drivers and banksmen and wear high-vis clothing in the designated areas. Also, please remember to use pedestrian walkways whenever possible and keep an eye out for safety signage across the site. In the production area, there are various processes that may present significant health and safety risks. These include, but are not limited to, manual handling. This relates to the use of bodily force when moving materials or interacting with machinery. Manual handling should be minimised as far as practicable. Mechanical aids and lifting equipment should be used to move materials where possible. Machining This includes the use of machining equipment, including presses, CNC's, milling machines, cutting saws and lathes. These types of equipment have significant potential to cause injury or harm, including entanglement, crushing, pinching and other serious or even fatal injuries. Pressure systems. This includes the use of pneumatic and hydraulic pressure systems to process materials. This type of equipment carries the risk of crushing, pinching and puncture injury. As with other workplace equipment, these systems should only be operated by trained, competent personnel. Painting. The use of spray booths to provide surface finishes on parts may be in place on this site. These areas have specific controls such as access control, local exhaust ventilation, respirators and coveralls. Again, these areas should only be used by trained, authorised operators. Welding Different types of welding technique may be used on site to fabricate materials. Risks from this activity include harm to respiratory health through the production of welding fume, risk of severe burns due to welding flame exposure, alongside the risk of eye damage due to welding arc exposure. Safety devices. Devices that are critical to ensure your safety may be integrated into equipment or other site infrastructure. This includes features such as interlock devices. These must never be tampered with and any defect should be reported to your line manager immediately. Risk assessment. Control if you would like to highlight a possible safety or environmental hazard that you spot on site, or you're unsure about something related to the health and safety of yourself or others, please report the issue immediately to your line manager, host, or the on-site health and safety representative. Thank you for paying attention to this brief health and safety induction. Let's work together to build a safe and successful future for everyone.
Thanks a million for watching our health and safety induction video here. If you find this useful and would like to use it for your team or employees, you can access the full version over at safety.com, completely free of course, and this includes a knowledge test and completion certificate when successful that helps you to make sure those being inducted have grasped the basic health and safety principles being communicated. We'll leave a link in the description for you to go ahead and use that useful free resource.